Welcome back to the Mid-Year Mitch YouTube channel. In today's episode, we are 100% out of space because we have a lot of classic cars and only three bays to put them in. Be sure to stick around. We're at the movies, huh? Yep, we're at the movies. So we got kicked out of our storage space on July 4th. So the red split window and the white 65 are here to stay while I work on the Misfit. So they'll have to get pulled outside when I do dirty work. But the front end is bonded on the Misfit. So hopefully we're almost done with dirty work on that car. So it's really coming together quick, but the Camaro is now in storage. So we've got some live action going on outside. See a little bit of it there. We got us a little garage going up out back. So that'll be the garage where we can do the dirty work and probably the nice cars will be stored in here where the Misfit, the Camaro, and any other future projects will be worked on in there, which is the same size width as this garage, but it's eight feet deeper. So we'll be able to have a lot of fun in that garage. But we are completely out of space, jammed up in the Camaro, well, free reign. We're gonna send that off to get media blasted with the, the soda blasting, the dustless stuff, and then we'll start working on it in that garage once it's ready. But for right now, this is gonna be the fleet. We got us an American fleet here, red, white, and blue. So I'll do a quick walk around the Misfit to show you what I've been working on. So the front end is glued on. I had to cut this corner off. It was kind of hacked up, but it was also really, really thick. I had a hard time getting it to fit. So I cut it off. I have another piece I'm gonna splice in. I also cut the rest of this center piece off. This is an original uh, hand, uh, press molded Corvette piece while the front end is hand laid. And you can see how thick it is there and it should be significantly thinner than this. So I have to whittle that down and get it to fit. I couldn't get the front end to sit on the body line just right with that piece in there. It needed to spread a little further. So I'll just graft that in later. But this came out real nice. So I have to take all the screws out, do a little bit of blending work in here, take the foil off. Let's put the foil on there so that the door wouldn't get bonded uh, closed. And I started cutting out these vents. I just really quick hit them with the death wheel I'm gonna go back and refine them later, but that's just gonna help get some ventilation here, get some air in and out of the front end through the hood, out the sides. It'll just, you know, look a little more, a little more racy there. So that's coming together pretty good. This front end was a little wonky, but I came in here and I repainted the inner fenders, got all that cleaned up firewalls, all painted real nice. So this gap's a little bit wider. Um, but it's it's coming together. This inner fender is actually shifted the wrong way, so I had to make some modifications to get everything to line up kind of the way I wanted it to. So now since, it's kind of a pain in the butt actually, since the other cars are here, it looks like it's gonna rain probably for the next week, week and a half. So I can't do fiberglass work, so I have to focus on mechanical work, but it's nice out right now. So as soon as I finish editing this video, I'm gonna work on gluing this piece on and a couple other areas to try to get that stuff finished up so I can start putting the cowl together. I wanna to get the insulation on the cowl. I'm working on repainting the pedals right now. I'm working on the uh, throttle linkage. I wanna get all that stuff buttoned up so I can get everything situated, get wiring in it, start plumbing the car and get this thing ready to run. But the pain in the butt part is every time I wanna sand or do body work, I have to pull both cars out.
has to be a perfectly nice day. I gotta pull them back in before any weather happens. So it's a little, little tedious, but we'll get her done. It's definitely slowing progress down to a crawl between filming, editing, videos, and now this, this uh, setback. It's progress has slowed way down. So hopefully I'll be able to make it to my goal. I'm also painting my drive shaft. Originally a mid-year drive shaft had different uh, colored stripes on it, two orange and a green, probably to designate the length, then it was a four-speed drive shaft. This is a custom length drive shaft and it's got a different yoke on it, um, but I'm still going with that kind of color scheme. So I painted it orange, I taped it off, I painted it green, I'm gonna back mask that and shoot the whole thing in cast blast. It was like flat black and it was a really cheap paint, so I just wanted to spruce it up and make it look a little more original. I also wanted to carry a little bit of originality on the brake pedal. Originally, part of this was shot uh, probably about from this hole where I have the hook down in black. The top was bare steel, so I shot the top in cast blast, and I'll shoot the bottom black. So it's just one of those little details that if you look at the car really close, you'll be like, wow, this is a really nice car, but if you stand far back, it looks like it's hacked together. That's kind of the look I'm going for. And like I said, the front end's on the Misfit, so I'll have some more videos coming up on that very shortly. This car is coming together pretty quick. So if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. I got a lot of work to do, so I'll catch you guys later.